Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. When doing things right, and things seem to be going wrong. What's going on? What is happening with this process? I keep spending all this time doing all these great magical things, but yet I've still got these weird situations showing up in my life. Why? Kind of a contrast issue, and I sort of wanted to get into it because I really do think contrast is a very underrated thing. Contrast, in fact, is something that most people are scared of. Most people try to stay away from. Contrast is something that people dislike, and they see it as a mistake, as a negative, as a, I've, I must have done something wrong because here I am manifesting contrast. Now, Neil Donald Walsh was certainly one of the people that's talked about this, how when you ask for an imagine, uh, a manifestation, right, when you are imagining right off the bat, when you start trying to bring something to you, oftentimes you will bring the opposite to you first. And a lot of people see that, again, as a negative. Oh, no, I brought this back to me. Oh, no, I've got this negative thing in front of me, and I don't want it. Ah, I must have done something wrong. No, 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 no. You've done everything right. Contrast is a thing that I want others to appreciate. I truly, when I'm manifesting things and I see a contrast moment, I don't get nervous. I don't get upset. It doesn't bother me in the slightest way, shape, or form. In fact, oftentimes, it'll make me smile, and I'll be like, yeah, I definitely wish to have more of this thing, not that thing. And that really is the difference. I am pointing out here, and I'm not over there. So yeah, it's totally great that the contrast just showed itself. I love that. That's amazing. Am I going to experience more of that? No, it's served its purpose. It's caused me to shift my focus to more of what I want. It's not that I did something wrong to create the contrast. No, I did everything right. And the contrast is part of the process. It's part of us defining what we want. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, in, in, in light of what's a contrast helps us form what we actually want to manifest. Now, one of the other large problems that I've found that we see uh, in, in, in a, lot of, a lot of cases, right? People, again, doing everything right. And they keep telling me, at least this is what they tell me, doing everything right. I'm manifesting, I'm imagining, I'm living in the end. I'm focusing on where I'd like to go. And then they'll follow up with, but it seems like when I get close, I don't know, I start getting nervous. I start worrying about that one time, that thing that happened in the past. I'm afraid that it's going to happen again. I'm fearful of this. I'm fearful of that. I'm wondering, what the hell? Why Why doesn't anything work? Why can't I do this? Why, why do every time I get close, does it seem like it falls apart? Why is it like every time uh, I get close to someone rips the rug out from under me? And it's those underlying thoughts, beliefs, that actually start to create the contrast in these cases. So it's okay that you had an experience in the past that you learned from. If we're on a repeating cycle, you'll definitely see it. You'll keep attracting the same kinds of people. I mean, that's, that's common. And if that's what you're doing, if you're in one of those repeating cycles, yeah, we need to look at what's going on. You need to look at your beliefs. You need to look at what's truly going on with you. If you're, if you're attracting a cycle to you and you're telling yourself, I'm doing everything right, you're not looking close enough. You're not. Because if you're attracting a cycle to you, you are doing something inside. There's a, a belief. There's a thought process. There's something that keeps popping up that keeps causing this, that keeps causing you to get close and then dip down, that gets close and then dips down. You're doing everything right to get yourself there. But you got this, this limiting belief, this limiting understanding, this thing that happened in the past that you keep thinking about. Focus-based universe. You keep focusing on this thing, and because of that, when you're seeing these happen, Pay attention to what's going on when you get close. I did a show not long ago. I'll try to remember to link it. I doubt I'll remember, but I'll try. Uh, I won't even be able to. So when we get close and that energy, we start getting nervous. There's a little anxiety that can come. 
And that's when a lot of the, what if, what if, what if, those what if moments, what's causing the what if moments? What's causing us to question everything? Something bad happened in the past? Was there a mistake we made in the past? Is there still anger between us, possibly? I had one lady that was, oh, we're doing really, really good. Everything's great. Big, long story. And then all of a sudden, it's like, and then we got together, and then we fought again because our breakup was pretty tough. And now when we're back together, we still fight. And it's like, yeah, you got to work through that anger. No, everything's good. Really? Because you're fighting. That means there's anger. That means the second you guys get slightly into a conversation, things get heated. There's something underneath that. No, it's not, Dan. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's kind of where some of this stuff needs to really happen. We need to pay attention. If you're in a you cycle, if you're dipping, doing everything right, yet something funk is happening, kind of throwing down the gauntlet on you, well, I'll bet you money you've got these thoughts and these fears that are coming up. Now, most people will try to do affirmations. We'll try to do, I mean, these are good techniques. I'm not ripping. I'm just saying most people are going to do affirmations every time these negative thoughts pop into their head. Ah, negative thought, affirmation, affirmation, affirmation. Whew, okay, cool. And then five minutes later, ah, negative thought, affirmation, affirmation, affirmation. The affirmation helps. But the affirmation is like, you know, you get a like, wound or something, right? And it just opens up and it seems like it's just not getting better. Like for some reason it's not getting better. And you're like, well, I don't know. It's like, I probably should do something about this. Yeah, I'll put a Band-Aid on it. Next morning, you take the Band-Aid off. It's no better. Put another Band-Aid on it. Next morning, you take the Band-Aid off. It's no better. In fact, maybe worse. It's starting to look gross now, right? Put some salve on there, some Neosporin, something. If you want to put a Band-Aid, cool. But do something to treat the actual wound. Do something to help resolve the thing that keeps seeping up. Seeps up, we throw a Band-Aid on it. Nah, it's going to keep seeping up. You haven't fixed the problem. You're going to be in a repeating cycle. I promise. It's going to happen. When it seeps up and that contrast shows itself, we need to look at it. Why is this happening? What is the point of the contrast? Is it meant to help guide me? Is it meant to help reinforce what it is that I'm focusing on? Or does it keep happening and it's meant to show me that something inside of me keeps kicking this out? If something inside of me is at work that keeps throwing its hands up right when I get close, that's the thing that's keeping you from your manifestation. It's that. Whatever it is. Usually it's going to be, you know, self-love, lack of self-worth. It's going to be something in those lines. There's going to be some sort of insecurity, something we did back when we were younger, some mistake we made that we haven't forgiven ourselves for. Again, search for astral letters on my channel. I've done a bunch of shows. I'll try to remember to write the astral letter ones too. Astral letters. Let's see here. We got that. And then we got the, if it's getting close, right? Getting close. Something. Something like that. I'll see if I can find those two shows. Both of these helps. So when we're doing the astral letters, that helps with forgiveness. When we're doing close, that helps us really look into what is it that's causing this anxiety? What is it that is imbalanced in me that keeps showing up and messing with me? You're not doing anything wrong. So many people, I must be doing something wrong. No, no. In fact, law of attraction is very easy. It's a focus-based universe. What you focus on, you get, period. There's no special way to focus. It matters just what you're focused on. If you keep talking about how horrible things are in the world and you keep wondering why you keep seeing horrible things in the world, well, you keep talking about it. That makes sense. That's your focus. Why wouldn't you see that? Same person could stand next to you and say, oh my God, I see wonderful things everywhere. There's an example, there's an example, there's an example. That person runs around and all they see is good things. Living in the same world, same stuff is happening all around you. What are you focused on? Am I focused on the good stuff? Am I focused on the bad stuff? I've talked about it before. It's kind of like, like glasses. It's like a filter, right? I'm going to put on my good stuff glasses. Oh my God, I can see good stuff everywhere. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, I'm going to put on my bad glasses. Oh, everything's nasty, right? That is the difference. It's our focus. And when you get close, that contrast happens, and something seeps out, and your little wound spills out through the Band-Aid, address it. Address the wound. Address the problem. 
do something to kind of see what is it? What is happening? If Again, if there's forgiveness that needs to occur, work on the forgiving techniques. Astral letters are one of the good things I have. I'm sure there's other videos out there to help deal with if you need to forgive somebody. I mean, the Hop Hoponopono is a great one to go. What I love you. Uh, please forgive me. I, I love you. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. And whatever the fourth one is. Whatever. Right? All good stuff. All those things work. When we identify it, then we can heal it. And that's huge. It's a good thing. So many of us see it as bad. Try to see what it is and why it's there. And then you will be able to navigate past these blockades in your life. And you will start to see blockades as good things because you realize what they are. These are obstacles inside myself. Us pushed out, another example. These are things inside ourselves that need attention, that need love, that need healing. So when the blockages pop up, we know it's now an opportunity to fix it. Something must be elevated within my own being for this to have finally come to the surface because this issue has been plaguing me for years, right? That mistake I made, that was eight years ago. I've been having issues for eight years, right? Now I finally realized what it was. I didn't think I was good enough. It goes back to that, how I always wanted my parents' uh, uh, love for what I was doing, wanted their, uh, their approval, wanted them to pat me on the back and say, good job. Uh, my mom wasn't around or my, I was maybe in a bad scenario with a relative or something. I don't want to be too terribly specific, right? But any number of things can kind of come to the surface. Let's address them. Let's forgive them. Let's try to figure out what it is that I can do to move on from this. Maybe understand why is this, why has this happened to me? What, what has, I, what, what has improved or what have I understood in a more positive way that's going to make a difference from this? Like what's come from this that's going to help make me a better person? That's going to help me learn and approve and appreciate and love deeper and stronger and love more and, and give people a second chance and give people the, uh, the abilities to, to make mistakes and yet still be lovable, right? I mean, I don't know. what it just It opens us up. It starts to really change things when we can get past some of these blockages in us. It's like, it's amazing once you shed one of those things, truly, it's like your life changes like everywhere you look. Again, what filters are you throwing on your face? When you block, get some of these blockages out, it's like suddenly a filter has been removed and you start to see things that have always been there, but now they're visible. So when everything's going right, and then something happens. Ooh, pay attention. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. See it for what it is. It's bringing something to your attention. Fix that something, and that stops happening. It does. It stops. Stop trying to affirm yourself back up because you're gonna go right back down. You keep. You got a repeating process. Keeps happening. You got this line right above you, and you. Do, 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 it's all day long. Doo -doo. Sound effects are fun sometimes. Stay in radio style. Hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully this helps because really if we start paying attention, oh my God, the things we can change. It's amazing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. You can click the little picture of myself at the end. Put the little bell icons next to the subscription, the little lines. If you click on the bell, lines will show up or lines will go away or whatever. If they're on, it, you will be notified whenever I do videos. Please like, please subscribe, please share with, uh, with others. I appreciate all that. If you're trying to support my channel, those are some of the greatest things you can do to make a difference. I appreciate all of you. Love each and every one of you. And certainly, I'm looking forward to doing more shows with you guys. Thanks so much.